Hello everybody. Today I want to talk to you about the status bar. The status bar, if you don't know, is a widget that's displayed at the bottom of your frame and it's used to display the current status of your application to the user. Okay, so to create a status bar, you just want to go to mainwindow.cpp and you want to go to your constructor. And then at the bottom of the constructor, you want to type create status bar. Create status bar will return a pointer to your status bar. Now you can use that pointer to set the text on your status bar with the set status text method. And now you can see our text is displayed right here. You can also split your status bar into multiple sections. To do that, you just need to pass an integer to the create status bar method. And now we just need to set the text. The set status text method takes a second parameter, which is used to indicate which section we want to set the text on. The first section will be 0, and the second section will be 1. So here you can see we have two sections. One says ready and the other says hello world. We can specify the width of each section with the set status widths method. The set status width method takes an integer array. Now we just need to specify the width of each section. So I'm going to make the first section 50 pixels wide. And I'll make the second section 150 pixels wide. And here you can see our first section is 50 pixels wide, and our second section is 150 pixels wide. And over here we have some empty space. We can also pass negative numbers to our widths array. Negative numbers are used to indicate a variable width, which means WX widgets will figure out the width for us. Here we're just telling WX widgets that the second section should be twice as big as the first section, and we're going to let WX widgets figure out the actual size.
Now the section on the right is twice as big as the section on the left, and there's no empty space. I should probably mention that the frame class has wrappers for all of these functions, so we don't actually need the pointer. So as you can see, it still compiles even without the pointer. If you don't use the pointer returned by create status bar, internally WX frame is going to use the get status bar method. The get status bar method returns a pointer to the status bar. Okay, let's just go back to using the simple one section status bar. Alright, so now you can see we just have the simple status bar. Now I want to show you how to push and pop text off your status bar. To push text to your status bar, we just need to call push status text. And we'll call sleep just to simulate the event handler doing something. And at the end of the event handler, we're just going to call pop status text. So if we call our event handler, we get our dialog, of course, then we push our text to the status bar, and we wait five seconds, and then the text gets popped off. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.